We stress the point that there should be built in Orange Mound the African American Museum of Black History and Culture. Again, this lecture we mentioned that the principal of the new Merrill School on Dallas Street built in 1939 stressed the four A's academics, attendance, attitude, and athletics. What you only hear about Merrill's was athletics. However, almost a generation before we ever heard about Merrill's Larry Finch I want to talk to you about a remarkable woman who graduated from Merrill's in the class of 1953. 1953 is the year I was born. Let's put this in a social and historical context that you can understand. You see, this Merrill's graduate was born seven years before President Joe Biden around 1933 or 1934. Now, another thing I learned about Merrill's is that they have this mantra that they quote that says, quote, we serve with pride and humility. Now, that is a very, very, very true Merrill's principle that they are quite quiet and humble. That is a good thing at the same time, it's a bad thing. When I came up, my hero was Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali had a lot of pride and very little humility. Black boxing champion Joe Lewis was, was just as great and significant for us black people as Muhammad Ali. However, Joe Lewis had humility. Muhammad Ali helped to change black America. The hell with humility. We need to tell our stories again. There is this woman who graduated from Rose in 1953. I have seen this woman many, many, many times. I had no idea that she was a superwoman who hides her cape and shorts. And you don't know that she's a superwoman. And her name is Miss Lala B. Smith. She is old enough to be my mama and she is a real superwoman who I actually created in my upcoming movie, Rock and Roll, A Black Legacy. The only difference in the woman who is the character in my movie is the part about humility. Let me tell you about Mrs. Lala B. Smith. Miss Lala B. Smith, again, is a 1953 Merritt Rose graduate who became a nuclear physicist with the United States Atomic Energy Commission. She worked in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. She holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Mathematics from the Warren College and a Master's of Science degree in Physics from Howard University. Her professional career includes assistant professor of mathematics and physics at Florida A&M, Florida A&M University and Lamont on College. Scientific an analysis of physics, the United States Atomic Energy Commission of Conservational Solar Branch, U.S. Energy Research and Development Administration and Chief of Nuclear Engineering and Physics Branch. Ms. Smith participated in the United States Department negotiations and representatives for other countries for the exchange of energy information in support of nuclear, nuclear energy strategy. In addition to that, Let's take this thing just a little further. She is also concerned about civil rights. Miss Smith was especially concerned with developing 
equal opportunities for minorities. She instituted a stay in school program which provided summer employment for high school students and established a co-op education program between Knoxville College and the United States Department of Energy. She organized the Oak Ridge Chapter of Blacks in Government and served as Chapter President and Vice President of Big Region comprising eight southern states. As a civil rights and community activist and activist during the 1960s and 70s, Mrs. Smith championed the calls for open housing and housing and equal employment in Oak Ridge area serving on the Human Resources Board and Human Relations Council of the City of Oak Ridge and the Tennessee Council of Human Relations. In addition to that, she received numerous awards and honors and served on many professional civic and community organizations. A few, a few include Who's Who Among Black Americans, National Forum of Black Public Administrators, and Outstanding Accomplishments in Science and Civic Affairs. She is a past president of the Oak Ridge Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority and of the Board of Trustees of Oak Valley Baptist Church. She served as the Building Committee Chair, Chairperson and Construction Manager for the construction of the new sanctuary and educational facility at Oak Valley Baptist Church. Presently, she lives in Memphis and she is active in Orange Mound community where her family were members of the Mount Moriah Baptist Church in Memphis on Corns, the historic Mount Moriah Baptist Church. And she is still a superwoman and we got to tell her story. And this is one of the reasons we need in Orange Mound, the African American Museum of Black Memphis history. There is hardly a picture of her. If she were to die, there are few who can really tell her story. That's why this is so important. Mrs. Lala B. Smith, Mama, we love you, honor you, and respect you. And girl, you are a superwoman, and you got to be a part of our new upcoming movie.